Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another game from the 2v2 tournament in the SDL Discord. Let's dive right in here to Lenina. And on the left in the red, we have Potatoes playing first Ski Jaeger on Balanced Income. And Jerry Adams fan playing, I believe, 20th Panzer also on Balanced Income. And on the right in the blue, also on the axis, is Farid Rommel playing Herman Goring, uh, Fulsham Panzer Herman Goring on Maverick Income, and Homeyun playing 21st Panzer, also on Maverick Income. So let's dive right in here. We have a JU87 right off the bat with an ME410 and an off map 172 mil. So all kinds of cheese coming out of both sides here. Let's see whose cheese is stronger. SDK is at 7-1, forces off the ME410, but may not be able to stop the JU87. Focke-Wolf coming in for the off map here will not get that off it does not look like j87 already peeled off and the off map goes down sdkfz cannot save it but the j87 also didn't get any kills so i guess he stopped that if you guys enjoy 2v2 make sure to check out the other two videos that just came out with it some fantastic matches uh between some other fan nominal players so the uh, Fox is here doing what they do in 1v1 here in 2v2. Spamming early and pushing hard. All the aggression out of these guys. Foxes love to play aggressive. It's what they do. Early 81 with Mortar as well. Mortar 1 on the hill here. Double SPW 233. Along with a Sherman. SDK of Zed's doing lots of damage to those Pantherfetic Tugs. SPW's into the town as well from the other side. So many armor cars. That's what you get on Axis versus Axis. Panzergren's in position, though, chopping through these Urzats. I mean, 410 forced off again, getting a little bit heavier hit. Oh, might go down, actually. SDK's at 7-2 now in as well. It's a Flak 36 on a chassis. 410 is going to get out, but it's pretty heavily damaged. It'll be gone for a little while. IG-18 does have some AT, but it's not the most effective here. Infantry getting hit hard on all sides. SDKs in in tight. Smoke making things hard to work. JU-87 coming in, but that's going to get hit by the SDKs at 7-1. Ooh, just enough. The JU-87 almost going after that Martyr 1, but it will get shot out of the sky, actually. Down it goes. ME410 and again, they're very persistent with these ME410s. Flying right over that SDK was at 7-1. Might lose this one. And down it goes. But the infantry push here getting thrown off a bit here. Jerry Adams fan successfully holding it off. Potatoes just throwing some units up north and moving in now with the KV-2. Has units in the north of the town. Here comes another off map. Already lost the one. Will we keep this one alive? I assume a Focke Wolf will be coming in any moment now out of 21st. Where is that off map? What is he waiting for? What? What kind of off map strike is that? You're fighting up here. Like, what? Okay, that was the oddest choice I've ever seen. Actually gets it through and then calls it in back here. Maybe thinking the opponent would fall back units, I guess? That would be the only reason I could see that. That was really weird. Although they have a chance of capturing this flag down south and they can sneak by the Pac-38 MG-42 or just kill them off. That'd be huge. Red currently on the 1311. A lot of reinforcements coming in, though, from blue. But on the other side, lots of reinforcements coming over here as well. Blue side managing to hold on to this flag here in the town. I'm pretty sure that's their flag to start. Considering it's now 1311 still. Red has this one up here. Blue has this one here now, 1212. Red needs to get back into here really badly. Martyr 1 taking out the 233. Nice kill there. Two three three bounces off the Panzer 3 here. Panzer 3 gets a hit. SPW now misses. Flamerifer goes down to the M4 Sherman. Down the 233 goes. Nice kill there. Lots of infantry coming in to help support. Lines are thin for both sides right now as, as reinforcements pour in. Alfclair, do spot this stuff, so I assume some Artie will be coming soon to a theater near you, and they could get this flag really easily because then they have to walk all the reinforcements out here. It's going to take quite a while. 
Benja 3 and Sherman bounce off each other. Needs to get that APCR back on to kill this Sherman more efficiently. Nope. Bounces and goes down to the Sherman. It's one of the few times you really actually do want APCR is that Panda 3 versus Sherman thing. The Panda 3 really struggles to consistently penetrate the Sherman. So you throw on APCR, they'll pen every time. They did get an Urzat back into this flag here, bringing it back to a 12-12. They lost this flag. Easy flag they were grabbing here. The town is just a wreck right now. SPW is all over the place. Pac-36 trying to get through. Misses its rocket on the Sherman. More Panzer threes are coming. Urzat's everywhere. Sherman goes down to the Martyr 1 on the hill. Nice kill there. T-34 already got penned. Ski Jaeger here might be able to get a Panzerfaust off if it gets any closer. Nope. Gets spotted before it can. Martyr 1 took a hit from the Panzer 4, I believe. Or the Martyr 1. There's two on it. And down the Martyr 1 goes. Big loss there. Already hitting infantry. This combo here doing a lot of damage. Oh, T-34 goes down to the Panzer 3s, though. Now under a little bit more pressure. Off-map now in. Plane was back through, and this time the off-map makes sense. Fockerwolf will not get to that off-map, so we'll have the opportunity to call one more strike in. Fockerwolf almost going down to the SDK of Z71. That one's not even vetted, but I guess when you fly right into it, that is going to happen. Grilla on the hill actually gets taken out here by the Stug 3. Nice kill there. Valkyrie, I'm shocked he brought these in. These are terrible. Like, really not very good. Looks like they should be on paper. They're phenomenal, but in practice, they suck. For their price. I should say, for their price and how you expect them to do, they're really bad. It's disappointing because it's a cool unit that feels like it should be so cool. Off-map coming down. It's a pretty good hit. It is doing damage. T-34 goes down. Oh, yeah. Off Claire killed. Cuts off some of that sight line. Yeah, that was a good off map on that one. But still 12-12 with both teams railing against each other. Piles of Urzat coming in for these two southern flags. Can the Pack 40 stop these advanced ones? They has APCR on. It looks like he does. Yeah, needs to turn it off. Can't decide what to shoot. APCR out. Urzat's unloaded, at least. Did he switch off APCR? He did. Wait, no, he's shooting the HE. Focke Wolf will knock it. They really think they can get by this SDK Z71. I, I don't really understand why. Okay, this off map's not amazing. I would have kept pouring it into the town. But, I mean, if these Martyr 1s don't move, then it should do some good damage. Off map goes down, but he did uh, use all three, so not a big deal. SPW233 stops, spots the Ski Eggers there. Oh, they're right there. Just misses. T-34 misses the 233. Unfortunate there. Big pushes down south. This single pack 40 is really not enough to hold all this. The Grilla needs to shift over here. Take out some of these units. Now the Grilla on the other side hitting the pack 40. Pack 40 in range though. Should be able to kill it. Oh, no. Just kidding. It can't. I don't know why it keeps shooting infantry. Grilla backing up from the Panzer IV. Will it stay alive? I don't think it will. Oh, it misses! All oh, the urge at spam. Grilla down. Big loss there. You only have so many of those. Transport goes down. MG42 unloaded. Another one pushing in. Urzat's flowing in both sides here. So much garbage infantry. Panzerstreck versus Alfclair. Just a funny matchup here. Alfclair will win because of the cover. But Sturm, Fusiliers here will finish them off. Flag captured. Still 12-12, though. Red had the advantage there capturing... Uh, I don't know what they were... Oh, this flag here. See, Lenina would be fun if it was turned this way in 1v1. But no, no. We have the terrible version. Ski Eager Pioneers in an awful position. They have an MG42. That does not mean they should be like fighting at long range. This push getting smacked down pretty hard. He's going to lose a lot of resources in that. 
Martyr One still in a pretty nice spot. He needs to move up a little bit, probably to here, to actually really help defend. And Red seem to be seems to be winning the town fight pretty well right now. Urzat's gonna go down. Panzer Four is a little dangerous, I think, to the C three. It doesn't matter. It's dead. Panzer Three spots the Panzer Four here. All of those infantry down. Urzat's on the run. That flag will flip back momentarily, I think. Skiager Pioneer's going down hard, though. This northern area might get cracked open if he's not careful. Tons of reinforcements coming in, though. Wow. An entire, like, two ticks of income coming in. Now into B phase. So red has balance and blue is on Maverick. So this is where blue needs to make its move and it needs to make it hard. Stuk 3 in a beautiful spot here to cut off this road. For some reason, re like, it keeps unaiming. What is it doing? Is it losing sight? How is it spotting it and then unspotting it? Oh, it's coming in and out of the Ski Fusilier line of sight. That's a bummer. Urzat's trying to weasel their way into this position. Stug 3 versus Panzer 4. Panzer 4 comes out on top. That's shocking. The Stug 3 should win based on armor alone, but yeah, it happens. Reinforcements still coming in, but the north currently cracked open. Reinforcements flowing in, but Gleitgrens, very strong units. Ski Panzer Shreks, though, running into these Panzer Grens, probably going to die off before they can take any armor with them. Sturm Ski Jaegers need to get out. They do have their MP44s. The Panzer Grenadiers are out in the open. These guys absolutely destroy things that are out in the open. Not great against stuff and cover, but in the open, I mean, God, it does so much damage. Is this a 1943 or 1944? This is 1943 variant of these Ski Eggs or T3045s. But the armor of 20th Panzer here really starting to overwhelm a bit. Town crumbling for blue. Blue needs to get their butts in gear with their Maverick income here and really start taking some stuff. Pack 43, a good choice to start blocking out some 2K range here. KV-2, this thing is phenomenal. Only comes in this division. Funny, no Soviet division has it. Just an Axis division. Sturm, Ski Fusilier here getting a grenade off on the Panzer 3. Will they get a grenade on the Grill as well? Oh, just short. Oh, what a disappointment. Sturm Ski Eggers overwhelming the Begleich Grenadiers. Panzer 4 now in will easily crunch some of those infantry. More T-34s just piling in to fight these Panzer 3s on their way. T-3045 getting hit by the Grilla? Yes. T-3045 in range, though, and lands its first shot, killing that Grilla. All and pushing through will probably get unloaded way before they get there. Smoke is helping, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going way too deep there. There we go. Figuring out that he had no chance at that one. And the town is basically fully in Red's favor here. 13-11 for Red here. Playing really well. Homeyun and, and Ferret are both very good players, so it's very impressive to see. I don't know Potatoes or Jerry. I mean, I'm sure these are dumb names they put on themselves. Uh, whoever they are, because they're playing very well. That they're definitely no like new players. SPW two three three trying to get back into the town, but the Panda three takes it out. Panda threes have performed very well. Urzat Chas trying, falling behind, falling apart now. More martyrs in seven twos. It does not look like we're six minutes into Maverick income. And it's double Maverick income, don't forget. So it's like a lot of extra points. I mean, they're getting 260, and these guys are getting 340. So it's like 800 points more. I mean, there should be a bigger difference in troops on the map here. Granted, 21st and Hermann Goring are both more expensive divisions, while Ski Eggers is pretty cheap overall, and 20th does have some cheap options. We're seeing here with the Urzats and the Ozats Truppen and the Panzer Threes making up the bulk of their forces. SEK of Zed down. Pack 40 in a nice position here. 
misses the other. Will not be able to get it. Sturm Tiger now in. I mean, this is a great choice. There's not much to stop this thing if he actually uses it. T34 does go down, though. To the SPW. Wow. Okay. Moray coming in to stop the planes up north. I mean, they made a lot of ground, but there's no flag here, which kind of sucks. A lot of T-34s in now will be able to easily overwhelm these Panzer threes. Southern fight. I mean, they're building up. The, the Maverick income is really kicking in now. But he's still on a flag disadvantage here. Koenig's Tiger now in. Homeyun bringing in the big, big guns. Not the biggest of guns, it's the Koenigsteiger P, so it's a little lighter than the H. JU-87 coming in for that Panzer IV. I don't see any AA here. Surprised to see none at all. There was one STK of Zed, but that was about it. One of them must have died. JU-87 strike successful on the Panzer IV. T-34 coming for that Panzer III. Panzer III, really, this is a weird little divot they have found over here. I'm not sure what they're gaining by hiding it in there. T-34 should easily kill this 231. Down it goes. And red consolidating their hold in the town. Lots of units coming in here for blue. They are on the edge, though. They are running out of town. T-34, I don't even know what it's going after. It was never fired. Mortar's just been going constantly. Sturm Tiger doing a nice ground attack here. Will definitely kill those Urzats off, I would think, unless more smoke comes down. Really don't want to miss that thing firing. T-34 catching out these infantry, doing lots of damage to those, and the northern push has been totally annihilated. Boom! Gone go the infantry. Koenig's Tiger moving up into a more aggressive position. I would agree with this. Definitely needs to be engaging units on this hill and stuff. I don't think anything can really pen it. The Boita Stalin would, will really struggle at long range to kill it. Yeah, and here's the issue with the, the King Tiger, though. It takes still takes two shots to kill stuff, which means it just a lot of times doesn't kill stuff. Does this time, though. Sturm Tiger, another shot. Pack 40 should be dead. Bloop. There it goes. Sturm Tiger being used well here. Clearing out some town stuff. Sherman gets lucky. T-34 misses the side shot. Pens the T-34. Verf Ramen strike in on this mass of units. Ouch. Panda Shrek down. That's about it. Double Mortar now in. Still two minutes left to B-Phase here. Sherman did go down to that T-34. Königsteyer trying to position to kill this Martyr 1 and maybe make some ground down south here. Panzer IV went pretty far. If he kills this Urzat, this flag is under pressure. To kill these, it's two flags potentially for blue here. Yeah, that northern push completely fizzled out now. Now back on the defensive. It was a good play, but they just it's so deep. It's so far. I can see why people don't push up here. Blue for blue side, you could probably get to here and and pressure this flag. It'd still be hard though. It's really here where it's at. I mean, these flags are right here on the edge of the, the line. And even down south, there's a lot of options. Oh no. JU87, easy flying to the King Tiger. Oh, no! Oh, what a play! It's simple, but it's huge. You can't bring in a heavy, super heavy like that with no AA cover at all. Massive mistake there for, for the blue side. Martyr 1 going down to the Panzer IV. Wow, that was huge and right at the end of beef. Yeah, that was really quite bad, honestly. You can't... You, you just can't leave a super heavy with no AA. That's a mistake punishable by death, and we saw death. Unique unit here, 221st Panzer. Always fun. 
J87 comes in, kills the Panzer IV. The lack of AA down here is absolutely crushing them, as these J87s do whatever they want. Fogglewolf should be able to kill one, but it's definitely not worth the loss of the King Tiger and stuff. Martyr 1 gets a pen on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV misses in response. J87 is down. Can the Panzer IV do it? It does kill that Martyr 1. It took damage at some other point, but just a pile of Martyrs coming in now. And there is a reinforcement road down here, which means it's much easier for Red to get back down here. Blue on the other end is no reinforcement road down here, so that really sucks. Now into C phase with Red on the 1311. Things looking really rough for Blue. I mean, south is where they got to go, I think. Sturm Tiger land down a big shot, but doesn't hit anything heavy. Another Sturm Tiger coming in. I mean, I guess the first one's doing so well. Not why not keep doing it? This martyr should have no chance of penning this thing at this range. Sturm Tiger going for a shot on the martyr one should kill it actually, because it's open top. It's gonna do like a ton of damage. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So they did capture these two flags down south, now making it suddenly a 14-10 in Blue's favor, but there is a ton of reinforcements coming in. Uh, these Urzats will survive here for a while. This flag probably... Well, there is a Panzer gun here, so... This Panzer IV, though, is in a lot of trouble. Urzats are spotting it. And down it immediately goes. It already had one hit on it. Sturm Tiger is tanking and wrecking all at the same time. Doing a lovely job of putting some hurt on. Boom. I don't think I've seen a Sturm Tiger fire this many times in any game. Panzer 3 dead. Wow, that thing is doing work. Cred it. Panzer gun really should have been on return fire because otherwise, yeah, it's... Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, Southern Tank's going to get blown right back through here. Valkyrie into the town, recapturing 15-9 for Blue. I mean, they're doing it for the moment. But it is a thin 15-9, to say the least. Sturm Tiger going for the Martyr 1 kill here. Might get it. I'd, I want to see how much, how much blast is this thing really at. Nope, not enough. JU87 getting in again, killing something. But now there is an SDK of Z71 here, finally. Another Verf Ramen in now. Off map coming in. Where is it? Was it an air off map? What? I guess 21st. Oh, no, no. It could be the big Carl Jarrat. I'm not sure if it is, though. Back to a 1410 now. SBW-233 goes down to a Panzer IV there. Sturm Tiger finishes off the Martyr One. Nice kill there. Urzat's going to be easily overwhelmed by the Ski Eggers. Panzer IV goes down, though, to the Koenigs Tiger. Another one in. Nope, it's not the big, big off map. Kind of sad. I was hoping for the Carl Jarrat, the 600 millimeter single shot mega boom. Another Panzer IV down. Blue getting some better trades now, but it was rough at the beginning there. 88 in now, defending. Ju 87s easily being forced off. Yep, they're not going to get through. BF 109 might. The Sturm Tiger and Koenigs Tiger should be quite safe. And now it's all the way back to a 1410 for red. Blue back on the back foot. Off map coming. Oh, there it is. That's the off map. Oh, it is out of 21st. They're 172. Sturm Tiger deleting another MG42. Two Sturm Tigers in now. Losing the flag down south. 12 12 now. Holding on for dear life. But things are only going to get worse because it is balance versus Maverick. Red making a bit of a push up north, but the 88 is here to stop that. ME410 finally goes down. All swooping coming in. 
one out in the transport, and they are forced to unload. Sturm Tiger sending a shot down south. Doesn't do much. I'm impressed with all of the Sturm Tiger usage. These things are extremely micro intensive. Did manage to recapture this flag for the time being, but the Panzer Gun's getting wrecked. You really should have just driven them into here. Already going after that Pack 38. They need some infantry to push into this area. Sturm Tiger hits. There's nothing there, though. Could definitely hide some infantry in here and recapture this flag. Ski Fusiliers did sneak by and are getting some nice recon information back here. Gorilla, Martyr 3 now. Pack 38 finishes that off. So breaking down some of these southern forces quite nicely. Not a lot of armor left. Sturm Tiger doing what it did before to take out the Martyr 1. Sturm Tiger just going to keep hitting this. Valkyrie coming in to capture that flag back. But blue is down and again, red's on the balance. This only gets harder. Infantry in the south getting hit. JU-87 coming in for the pack. Uh, Panzer IV, but there's an 88, so it should be quite safe. Big off map here. 220 right on top of the last vestige of their town hold. Did finally recapture this flag. Valkyrie in a bad spot, though. They could just move it over here or into here. There's so many options. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Off map is dumb. They have no idea. Like, there's nothing you can do about this. It's just stupid. Off map is crap. Neville Warfare 150 going after the Sturm Tiger. Not a lot to do about it. Verfrommen going for the Sturm Tiger as well. Is one Sturm Tiger dead? No. The other one's still alive. Big hit here. Can he get it? Oh, and another Neville Warfare strike. Nope, the Sturm Tiger lives to fight another day. Or I should say, erase things another day. Off map, tons of damage. Here comes the infantry. Nothing you can do. Because it's dumb. Sorry, I'm going to be salty about off map even when it's not my game. Valkyrie get caught out and are pinned down because, again, they're not actually very good. The Ostrupen beat them. That should tell you something. Panzergrads did get into this complex now, so they have this flag, but still 1311 for red. Shermtar just keeps bombing. I understand the concept. He thinks there's something here. That's how it's holding, but it's really this leader back here that's doing all the holding. Königsteiger pushing really far forward. That, that seems unnecessary. Sturm Panzer IV goes down to the Nebelver for strike. Nice hit there. Two 150s in. That's how you do it. You want two. One doesn't do enough. Infantry being held off by the mortar, but another off map going to keep walking these troops out of the town. Oh, infantry deleted. Marta 3 takes some damage as well. Kidding Sire now backing off. There's so many side shots up in that position. Pandagram getting back in. Blue is fighting hard. I'll give him that. We're now pretty deep into the balanced Maverick thing here, and we're seeing the buildup occurring. Red can now easily invest into, like, Nebelwerfers and stuff. And the support weapons are just going to keep building. While blue is only has the points to invest in, you know, specific, like, frontline units to try to hold the line. And they just didn't do enough in B in the early game to... Like, it's not like Red's under pressure. Back 80, uh, 43 now in. Hitting the 88. 88 doesn't see it. Panzer IV goes down. Nice kill there. Sherm Tiger firing pretty far from the pack 43, so it shouldn't do anything. Alphaclare gets deleted accidentally. 88... Wow, 88 was kind of winning, honestly. Urzak goes down. Lots of Ostrup in. in. 
Nemelorfer going after the 88, but it was already on the run, coincidentally. Still took a bad hit. Mortar might finish it off. Off map lands, continues to roll these troops out of the town. Now he's making a push in the center. Good play here to pick up this flag. JU 87's coming in for the Jagdpanzer IV. There is no AA to stop him. So this Jagdpanzer IV is going to be dead. See if one would have done it. I'm not sure if we'll get to C or not. Yeah, one would have done it, but two definitely gets the job done. Panzer IV is pushing in, trying to help support in this town. Lots of Panzers coming in now. Still 1311, though. Red still in a nice spot. Town now rolled basically all the way out. There's no buildings left to defend with anyway. Look at this. Disgusting. Lenina is still gross, even in 2v2. It's less painful by a long shot, but it's still gross. Neville Orpher Strike looking for the Kinnings Tiger, but the Kinnings Tiger did actually move. Now it's a 1410. Flag down south about to come under pressure from these Urzats. Sherm Tiger going to delete some crappy infantry here. Double Verf Ramen. Will it land on that King Tiger? I believe that's what it's going for. King Tiger hasn't moved yet. Hit. Hit. No, oh, looks like it's gonna get away. Just barely. Pack 43 spotting. I assume. No, I guess it's going at the infantry there. I mean, these Sturm Tigers have done some work. Can't take that away from them. Mortar's going after the Verf Ramen, and it looks like the Foxes are throwing in the towel. Things are not going to get better, I mean, and they're already down on flags, and that's the game. What a nice match here on Lenina. 31 minutes, 57 seconds. You see Potatoes, 30, 20 with 24, 600 kill bonus, 200 up, and the Foxes down, generally speaking. Tough match for them. I don't think Maverick is the right way to go in a 2v2. I think you just got to play for the long game because... These games, they did, they don't go fast. It's very, very hard to get a really early lead playing in 2v2 because it's just so much stuff. It, it, two players can react to one push, and it's a lot to work through. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.